thinking about what that fucking fuck, 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 scumbag fuck is doing right now, as John put it. A criminal indifference to humanity in Puerto Rico that is leading to genocide. And this is, I, this is all I could think to read or to write about at this moment. So I'm going to read something first by the late, great Pedro Piacci. Then I'll read one of my own Puerto Rico poems. Because honestly, my heart is broken. Love poem for my people. <coughs> Do not let artificial lamps make strange shadows out of you. Do not dream if you want your dreams to come true. You knew how to sing before you was issued a birth certificate. Turn off the stereo this country gave you. It is out of order. Your breath is your promised land. If you want to feel very rich, look at your hands. That is where the definition of magic is located at. called After We Danced in the Rain. In Puerto Rico, clouds break up and roar. Skies pour rhythms onto bare shoulders. We all danced in the rain. Wet and happy, we never noticed the sun's return until it set. Until it set in the quiet of an ocean sky. There's a secret place on the horizon Land, sky, water, greet the gods as one. After we danced in the rain, I stared in wonder at the sky. My tenement, gray, cracked, dusty sky is the same one that led the dance. The same waves that carried my childhood through Coney Island cyclones and haunted castles. I stayed with my sky a long time that night. As long as you are there, Sky, it will be all right. Sky graces us all. We are not alone. We fly with you. One year later, I carry an umbrella in the rain. I wear shoes. I forget where I am. I've lost the sky. I wake at midnight in conversation with myself. Sleep's just a pause in grinding thought. Dreams are flooded, lost beauty, beauty lost, replaced by New York City images of towers, shuddering bodies flying from windows. On the way to work each day, I repeat my mantra. If I can clean off my desk, maybe it'll be okay. When I get to my office, I will clean off my desk and maybe it'll be okay, it'll be okay. But I never reach my office, I never see my desk. Raquel is in the corner, blood drips down her arm. The detox van is here to pick up Jojo, who has vanished. The outreach work has been busted, the crisis work is in crisis, and I'm on the burnout express, and if one more thing happens, I'll jump too. And when the one more thing happens, it is the smallest of things. Someone spilled maple syrup all over my files, and they're ruined. I forget to eat. I go out. I don't want tacos or fast food, and everyone is sad and obese, and all of a sudden I am crying. And I don't believe I am crying in Sunset Park on Fifth Avenue in front of Payless and 99 cent stores and poor little fat kids, and everything is too loud, too close. My skin hurts. I'm going in my home in my car, and I have music. That's good. I find Ray Barreto, the new one. His beats wrap themselves around me like tropical air waiting at airports. The heat that carried me to the beach to that point in the horizon where skies are endless and it's crazy. It's crazy that I'm driving under the same sky. How can it be the same sky? Ray drives me home or God drives me home or the sky is driving but I get home and it's quiet, and I begin to leave the city, return to the moment, the music, the rhythms, 
I let the rhythm set the pace and slowly, slowly, visions form, words come back home and I hear them. I hear them. I write these words as gifts, as gifts bestowed upon me to be bestowed upon others. We are treasured by the universe, graced by the sky, dreamers of rain dances. Thank you.